Welcome back to another video. This is regarding Triple. So they released their new Triple Studio interface. If previously all the models were available over here onto the left side, we are now going to see that if you're going to go on home, afterwards we're going to click on this early access. And I'm going to click on <laughs> this video is quite loud, so uh, not sure exactly why they made it so. It's a little bit too loud. And I saw that with my previous video as well. But let's take a look at the new interface. It will look like this. And we're going to see over here, for example, we have the 3D model generator. If I'm going to click on this, it will take me over here. Keep in mind that all the elements that were previously generated will need to be imported over here. So as you can see, we have this coming soon so we can upload our 3D models. They are not mandatory to be directly created over here, so we can import other uh, models and we can have them over here added. They have over here this one-click solution, which is quite similar to what we had previously. We can add an image, we can add multi-image, or we can also do batch 3D generation in this case. Now, I use the same models for some case studies. For example, this pickup for track, we look this like this. So we have over here individual meshes for this. So this will be the main chassis. This, for example, will be the main cabin. So the overall structure of those is not that, um, let's say, well-defined as for the door, for the window and so on. But we see over here, for example, this will be the door and um, I can hide it over here. We can also go over here within segmentation because this was created using segmentation. And as you can see, we also have the possibility to do some refine. If you're gonna do a segmentation from a component and within some sections, those will not be well defined, we can go ahead and fine tune those. We can also add over here. So for add part, we can brush over the, the mesh to create a new part like this. We can have the merge. We have over here an example with that robot. And at the end, we can have that saved. Now, this is the segmentation for the four track, as you can see. So it's pretty decent, but still needs a lot of uh, improvement. I'm pretty sure that they mostly, let's say, refine this for characters, such as that robot. Over here underneath this, it's quite interesting that uh, we have additional elements. So I wasn't expecting it to be into details over there. We see over here, this will be a uh, triple part three. We can't hide it over here directly, so we need to find it over here and hide it. So it little, little bit of uh, work over here within the UI, so we can uh, better work with those. We also have over here uh, the texture workflow. So let me just go over here and uh, I will go back and let's check some of the other models. This is the same Ford pickup truck, but uh, with a different uh, output. As we can see, it will look like this. Again, the car will same the, the share, uh, let's say, structure over here. So we have those, um, those added. Something that other generative AI tools uh, haven't really started to also create that detail of the um, underside of a car. And this is quite interesting. It is odd over here how um, it added that uh, cross in the front. We can also do a retopology, a texture, and a rigging. Now, let me go back and check one of those models with rigging. For example, we have the following robot. So, I made a video regarding this previously, so we're going to see that uh, mesh. If you're going to go within segmentation, this hasn't been created, but we can give it a try and see how it will work. I'm going to click on start segmentation and uh, this will process. We see over here a wait time. So while this will be processed, I will jump over here to the other asset. Again, this will not have that um, segmentation added as well. But I want to go over here within uh, rigging so we can apply auto rigging. In this case, the auto rigging will mostly be similar to the one previously within Triple. We see over here that they added um, 
a bird, a shark, and also a car. So this car was also present within the previous model, but I'm really curious how that rigging will be done. If it will be similar to a rigging done um, within Blender, now that we can also do that segmentation for individual components. So we have the rigging over here being added. We see that uh, the wait time is a lot um, less than uh, for the segmentation. And we have the model over here ready. Currently we have over here a metallic material. So we can go over here. Um, I see that I cannot change that over here directly. Maybe within texture, I can do that. So let's see, for example, if you want to have a full animation, let's see how fast that animation would be retargeted to the model. So we see over here that um, we have the possibility to have that retry over here. It's no longer being, uh, let's say, under processing, but uh, I still don't see that being added. So I went back to, in this case, walking. We can do over here a retry. So it should have the fall. Okay. So I just needed to have that updated. If I'm going to enable the skeleton, you're going to see that it will look like this. It's just a little bit off with the falling plane in this case. As you can see, one leg will uh, remain like that. So it's not very realistic. With walking, it will be like this. So we see that um, the main problem is that the axis in this case is rotated for the model. And we see for that back element, additional elements will move. One leg will just um, be dragged along. So it's not actually being animated. But keep in mind that this is in open beta and I'm sure that they will fix the orientation over here. Now, if I'm going to go back to a car, I'm really curious if I will start the rigging for this one. So auto rigging, since we also have a car model over there. I'm really curious if they have this support, but as you can see, the auto rig is currently not supported for this model. So I'm sure that this uh, will also be added within a, a follow up version. So we have this one processed. We see over here one second remaining. So let's take a look how that segmentation works for a robot, since this is intended for a, for a robot. We see over here uh, collected my assets. Over here, we're going to have the properties section. This is the case study mesh over here. So, this is, let's say, that the triple logo. As you can see, it, this will be quite well defined. The solid mesh will look like this. So, it needs a little bit of. Um, smoothening out over here but other than that the model is quite interesting and well defined we see over here also that the mesh is quite um, dense so let's see if that model was processed okay so we have the segmentation it will look like this if i will go within segmentation or i can directly hide components over here but if i will go within segmentation i will also have that visual um, and in this case we're going to see that if i will click on various components those will be selected so uh, triple part eight will be this one we have a lot of floating meshes that i'm sure that they will fix within a previous update in order to collect all of those vertices and uh, stitch them together with the same component this part will be 37. So just by clicking on one, it will not automatically, it will select over here, but it will now scroll uh, towards that. So we see that 30 is over here, 27, 32. I can also select on individual meshes. I think that they will need to add a threshold. So all of those small sections will be automatically merged to, to, to other elements. Okay, so this was an overview regarding the new Tripo Studio. Let me know in the comment section what is your opinion regarding this. Overall, I think that the new UI is quite interesting. And um, they mainly added that segmentation, which is something really interesting. And I'm really looking forward to do some additional testing with that one. Okay, so if you enjoy this kind of content, you will find a similar video over here on the left side. And I will also add a subscribe button to the right. So that's it.
Thanks for watching.